now scaling up because of the extra equipment. In other words, this pump right here is thirty-five to thirty-seven hundred dollars. It's computer controlled uh, peristaltic. You can't really get them any smaller and make it any less expensive. So I could make it smaller, but the price tag doesn't go down that much. I could make it bigger and the price tag goes up a lot. What we say is people that say, I need extra throughput, I say buy more machines. People say, I want to go smaller, I say maybe buy a different machine. Because honestly, this thing's designed for a lot of throughput. You know, I mean, but, but the way I see it, and I try to tell my son this, is that if you really want to make money, this is the machine to do it. Because it'll basically produce you $70,000 cash every month, whether you like it or not. That cash is, and we're talking extra cash. Because what happens is, with this machine, people all the time say, hey, listen, I've got thousands of pounds of hemp. I can't get it produced anywhere. Think about it. Hemp farmers have no place to go with their hemp. They can't get it processed. As soon as they cut it down, where do they go? You can't go to the CO2 guys, they're way too slow. You go to the Rotovap guys, forget about it. You know, this thing basically takes the place of six Rotovap. Not only that, it's the consistency of the oil. Rotovap oil, every it batch is different. At the same time, so Everything is all connected. It's one continuous system. It just keeps going back and forth. I use the same alcohol over a year. The only thing I ever do is I add alcohol to the system for what's residual in the material itself. And I typically lose about 10 milliliters for every pound of trim. So realistically, that, that's it. 10 mils per pound. This, I, all I have to do is add alcohol. I literally never have to replace it. I'm using the same alcohol for over here. Every time I run it through, I repurify it. Every single time. If there's a little water, somebody said, oh, I spilled my Coca-Cola in there. Do you run it through the machine? I'll separate that out, no problem. You know, oh, man, somebody got drunk and peed in it. That's okay, run it through. We'll separate that shit out, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, the point is, 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 is the machine knows what it's doing, and we've designed all the stuff into the machine. All you have to do is push the button. Literally, that's as simple as it is. You just push this button right here. Push the button, that's it. And the cool thing is, is people say, oh my god, there's three valves on it. I'm really scared. What will happen if I open a valve? Nothing. Who cares? Nothing happens. Change all the valves. Do anything you want. Nothing happens. You know what I'm the machine knows what it's doing. Those valves, for the moment I change them, will, will make something change, but it doesn't do anything to the end product. It doesn't damage it, it doesn't hurt it, it doesn't cause any problems, it doesn't make it so it's dangerous out here. I mean, literally, the first machine I sold, this lady was running and goes, I'm really scared.